Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Professor Raymond Tanter, President of the Iran Policy Committee. Now, the Iranian regime has a strategy of secret operations hidden underground, covert military command and control centers, and front organizations for nuclear weapons work. Um, this is, I'm going back to the uh, satellite imagery, uh, commercial satellite imagery of 2004. You look at that area, you see absolutely no activity whatsoever. This whole area is just basically plain uh, mountainous areas. And below it, this is where the, um, uh, the, uh, the uh, Jabal Diyar garrison is. Good morning. Today, I would like to make public for the first time top secret major strategic nuclear enrichment site near city of Qazvin. This information obtained by the internal network of the PMI and by the National Council of Resistance of Iran. This nuclear enrichment site internal code is 311 and we call it and we refer to it as Vichatabad Object Nuclear Enrichment Site. The detail of this site were made possible by extensive investigation, research, intelligence work by the internal work of the PMI and there are many lives at risk so that this information could be available today. The construction of the object, Behjat Abad object site, began in early March 2005, and 85% of the construction work has been completed as of today. And then here is the um satellite imagery of uh, 2008 showing extensive uh, work uh, in compare, this is the same area, in compare to the 2004 and um, the, this is a more close-up uh, shot of the uh, imagery in, in 2008 um, and then this is uh, more progress on uh, 2009 and here is how it looks in 2010, um, this is a pretty recent uh, satellite imagery. As I stated in my introduction, the National Council of Resistance of Iran and the People's Mujahideen of Iran have unprecedented, unprecedented access to nuclear secrets. Name me another part of the pro-democracy movement of Iran that has such access. You cannot do it. And it's because of the validity of the information that the information has set the framework for the inspections regime and the sanctions regime. But inspections and sanctions are, are, are worthwhile, of course, but they're not enough. So many people in this town are talking about military strikes. But why refer so prematurely to the military strike option? when another option has really not been tried, and that is regime change from within. How? By empowering the Iranian people 